The meeting started at about 11 a.m., lasting about four hours. Among the federal ministers of the meeting was Aisha Al Hassan of the Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development, whose comments regarding the 2019 elections set tongue wagging across the country. The council, however, focused on the recent report released by the National Bureau of Statistics, suggesting the country has climbed out of recession. With the GDP growing in the positive direction for the first time in five quarters, government says a lot more needs to be done. We realize that the growth is very, very small. It's not a growth that has impact. It is just shows us that we are in the right direction, but the growth is yet to have the kind of impact which we would like. And because we have a population growing at 3%, Anything less than 3% is not likely to be impactful. On its drive to show up revenue, the council is happy with the Joint Admission and Matriculation Board, which it says has remitted money said to be the highest amount in 40 years. So far they have done 5 billion, and the Minister of Education reported that they have an additional 3 billion that they're ready to remit, which will take this year's figure alone to 8 billion. Now, they have not increased their charges, they have not increased their fees. So the question that FEC and council members were asking is where was all this money before? So the directive was given that we must call those who were the heads of those agencies and similar ones to account. And that's the direction that we've been given and that's what we intend to do. The meeting will prove for Nigeria to join the Africa Trade Insurance Agency, an A-rated regional body set to provide long-term risk guarantees. The council is also taking seriously the warning from authorities in Niger Republic on possible flooding. The good thing is that we Already the federal government is keeping an eye on its two observations veterans in Niamey and Lokoja, which it says are providing information by the minute in real time. We're monitoring the situation if there's any indication that there's going to be a significant rise or it's going to get to an emergency situation, we'll be able to uh, give an early warning uh, uh, to NEMA and uh, NEMA is poised also to inform the affected states. Uh, the riparian states along the river Niger, particularly Kogi, Anambra, uh, the Delta, down to Bielsa and, uh, and rivers. The desire of government in this regard is to avert flooding like the Benue incidents that washed away properties and left many citizens without shelter. From the presidential villa in Abuja, Ibrahim Adra, Channels Television News.